Boom shakalaka, what is going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's episode, I am going to be talking about my thoughts about Bitcoin. Now, some of you had requested that I do some fireside chat episodes, but I couldn't really find a green screen out here to do it. So I just decided to do it in beautiful nature in Sofia, Bulgaria with Vitosha Mountain right behind me. Couldn't be better than this. Now I'm doing these, you might notice there'll be a few my thoughts videos coming up because for the next week I'm volunteering at a primal therapy workshop, which is like the best childhood deconditioning program you could ever do. Like if you've had parents, ugh, and you have stuff with parents, ugh, you could use one of these things. So if you wanna find out more, I'll put a link down in the description. But let's talk about Bitcoin right after we say thanks to Monarch for sponsoring this video. All right, so my thoughts on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is better now than it's ever been before. Like I know that I got into cryptocurrencies because of Bitcoin. A lot of other people got into cryptocurrencies because of Bitcoin. Well, since I've been in crypto, Bitcoin's been continuously developed. There's more people involved in it. There's more developers. They're further along. Lightning Network's coming along. I mean, Bitcoin is being built out. And now when I tell people I work with Bitcoin, they actually have heard of Bitcoin. When I first started in 2017, I told people I was working with Bitcoin and they had no idea what Bitcoin was, okay? Now people know, they may not know exactly what Bitcoin is, but they've heard of it. So that's the first thing that's awesome. Also with Bitcoin, I mean, it's getting more adoption all over the world, more use cases, more people are using it all over the place. Right now, there's been a lot going on with the price. A lot of people got into Bitcoin in the beginning of 2018 when the price was at all time highs, $20,000. And then they've seen the price drop and the price has gone back up. And guess what? That's what happens at market cycles. Okay, price goes up, price comes down. But people are paying attention to it. When I call up some of my friends, they're like, hey, so what's happening with Bitcoin now? Wasn't it really high and then it went down and then it's back up high again? People are interested. They're talking about it. Well, the price is continuing to go up, and I feel that it's way undervalued. I mean, Bitcoin is, even though you can't actually physically hold it, physically touch it, it's more real than pretty much any other money we use, okay? You look at these, like, paper dollars or whatever we're using, well, guess what? They're just printing them out. There's literally no difference between paper dollars and toilet paper other than, you know, paper dollars are green. There's literally no difference. Toilet paper manufacturers print out a whole bunch of toilet paper. The US government prints out a whole bunch of dollars. There's no difference. There's nothing backing it other than just belief, common belief in the dollar and common belief in the value of the dollar. Well, guess what? Eventually, people lose that faith as, we, as we've seen happen in Venezuela, as, we, as we've seen happen in Zimbabwe, as we're seeing when people can't get their money out in China all types of things like that. Well, guess what? Bitcoin is real hard money. This is money that people, you can't create more. There's only ever 21 million. And guess what? There's only about three and a half million left to be mined. And guess what? They're running out because institutions are buying them up. Like large institutions are buying almost 60% of all the Bitcoin mined right now. So it's scarce, it's real, it's hard money. And because of that, the value of it is going to keep going up. Simple economic supply and demand. So. That's why I think Bitcoin is going to do amazing. That's why I'm super pumped about it. It's 10 years old. It's never been hacked. It's still around. It's still peer-to-peer uh, -peer currency that you can use. You can send anywhere in the world. There was just uh, 120,000 Bitcoin that were sent for $3. Somebody sent a billion dollars across the world for $3. Have you ever tried to send money with an international money wire? It costs like 20%. Well, guess what? With Bitcoin, you can do it free and almost instantaneously. So because of all that stuff, I am still super optimistic about Bitcoin. I love Bitcoin. Uh, majority of my portfolio is Bitcoin. Uh, and I think it's going to be around for a long time. I think it's got great developers. It's a great project. It's open source. It's a protocol. So who knows what Bitcoin will be in the end, but we know that it'll keep being developed and keep growing and keep being an awesome thing. And so I'm very stoked about Bitcoin. So 
Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be a few more of these, probably like seven more of these uh, episodes to come. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace.